Hello, my name is Fran Sands. Welcome to MyBoxingCoach.com. Um, today we are going to work on our second uh, video on Alexander Usyk, um, where we build a set of drills that will help you translate the theory of the Usyk style into genuine practice. Before that, if you haven't already, go and download my book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. You can build a supreme training regime, get your home gym set up as you want it, build out the tense core skills of a great boxing style, learn shadow boxing like a pro, and build real heavy bag intense sessions. Uh, click the link below, but there will also be a link at the end of the video where you can go enter your email address and get your ebook absolutely free. Um, so let's do a recap on video number one, which there should be a link up there. If you haven't watched it yet, go and watch it. We, we looked at the footwork, the four things that I picked out about Alexander Usyk. So his footwork, always on the balls of his feet, that pendulum step or the phased attack, southpaw tactics, making the very best of his southpaw style and using the highly mobile um, style of his, to really take advantage of, of his southpaw um, benefits. Then there was the high guards with that lead hand, especially high that allowed him to develop reactive feints to any of the shots coming in. So really defensively quite good. Um, he's got this pressure game where he's always jabbing. He's always looking to trigger the opponent. Um, so he's a great counter puncher and he puts pressure on with feints and jabs. And finally, long range, well, what more can you say? He's got these, he's, to me, he's the best long range boxer in the world today. Uh, he uses straights and he uses the, combines the footwork to put them hooks, long range hooks down the pipe. Okay, so how do we translate that into um, genuine practice? Okay, so here's four drills, four rounds, two minutes each round. Have a little look at this. Okay, some technical drills to help you instill some of the boxing style characteristics of Alexander Usyk. Uh, I'll quickly talk you through my drill pattern on the floor. We have a central line going right up the middle. Then we have two lines at the top of that central line, and they're about they're about the width of my or the length of my foot when it's at 45 degrees. So not a full foot, turn your foot to 45 degrees, they are about that distance apart. Then you have two lines coming off at 45 degrees from that central line and then two other lines coming off at an angle of I'd say from that central line I'd say maybe 30 degrees. Doesn't have to be geometrically perfect, it's about getting it there or thereabouts. Four rounds, two minutes each round. First round, for the whole round, we're gonna do the pendulum step, a phased attack. And that's just about being there and being in and out. They're using those top two lines, getting used to moving that far and making sure that the line on the floor remains going from that toe on my front foot to the heel on my back foot. Okay, the big problem when people do this sometimes is if that happens. So you see the way both of my feet have aligned and effectively I'm walking a tightrope. Great for if you are walking the tightrope, not so great if you're getting punches thrown at you. So there, forward back. Whole round, hands up nice and hard. Remember we're trying to emulate the Usyk style, so keep the hands up, body blade towards the opponent, all round. Now, as your legs get tired, you're on the balls of your feet, so you'll find your calves will tie up, just stop and kick your legs out. Right, this is not about intensity of work, it's about good quality work. Reset. So we're only moving that far, that's your first round. Second round then, we evolve that into some, into some punching. So, pendulum in, phased in, ready? You push in, jab, 
push out, in, one, two, out. So what you got is, in, out, in, out, all round, uh, that's for 60 seconds. The second minute of the round, similar, in, jab, out, in, backhand, hook. Remember, it's a long hook, everything at long range. So what you've got is, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. Again, for the whole round. Don't go for crazy intensity. Let's make the quality of the work really good. Okay, third minute, third round. We're gonna do jab, angled side step. So we're gonna angle side step that way. Uh, in fact, I'll try going full Usyk. Full Usyk, I should say. Someone told me off for pronouncing his name wrong. So I want to make sure I get it right. Usyk. From the stance, we jab, angle side step to our right, and um, long backhand hook. You've got one, angle side step, two. One, two, and I can do it the other way. Much more comfortable for me. One, two. So as you can see, we've got the jab, we push across, so that that offset line goes from the toe on the front foot to the heel, and then we fire the hook down the middle. That's the first minute of the round. The second minute then, we double up the jab. So it's one, two, three. And then you can see I've obviously come off the pattern. If it were being really sort of precise, I'd put another line in there. But look, it's an indication, you get the point. One, two, three. From the south pole viewpoint, one, two, three. That's the third round, two things, sort of two one minute sessions with the jab, the angle side step, and then that long range hook. And then into the final round. <clears throat> so we're gonna jab, block any hook coming in, two, roll with the hook, and then pivot out to the side. So that 90 degree angle is there. So this is for the first minute. Jab, hook, block, hook, roll, pivot. Jab, block, hook, roll, pivot. Again, trying to be precise, trying to be controlled. Jab, block, hook, roll, pivot. Everything under control, lead hand stays high, backhand stays high. Same from the other side. For the second minute then we're going to block to this side. So it's jab, block, turn in there. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Always a bit more awkward when you're going off to your backhand side. And then, you know, obviously if you're a southpaw, just reverse it. The, the only difference is, is tactical when it comes to being a southpaw. So there's four rounds and you've effectively got seven drills mixed in amongst all of that. Slightly different variations, slightly different 
punch sequences. So there you go, nice and simple. Um, be precise about what you're doing. You know, four rounds, two minutes each round, 30 seconds in between. Consistent and deliberate practice of the drills, it just brings benefits over time. You get better at it. So what about execution? Right, okay, well, here's me trying to be more Usyk. Now, whether anyone thinks I look like Usyk or not, or have any of the style or capabilities of Usyk, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that I'm getting the intensity out of the session, and I'm enjoying doing the work. That's what I want from you, that's it. I want you to enjoy doing the work. So have a little look at this, uh, and then you can see what you think. Right, so there you go. You've had the theory in the first video. We translated that into drills, and then you take the drills and you try your best to execute. You know, the drills will give you benefits over time. You will get better. If you're doing the right deliberate practice, you will get better. Okay, uh, don't forget to download your book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Here's your link. Um, otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in our next video.